Alrighty guys, welcome back. Okay, so our login.php page is pretty much complete for the most part. So what I want to do is I want to grab all of the information that we just coded, all of this code right here from start form processing down to our closing PHP tag right there. I'm going to copy that. Now open up our, where's our new underscore back? Where are you? There it is, right in the middle, right underneath my nose. TextMate, and let's open this up, and let's plug this in now. So let's go just like that. Okay, so we've got our else down there, double quotations. And on our new underscore fact.php page, this is where we're going to create our query for our form processing. So let's go ahead and code it. So let's scroll down to if errors is empty. There is no errors. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and create our query. Again, with the query variable, we can keep reusing it. I'm sure you guys know that by now. So we'll say insert into, what do we call it? I believe it was users. Whoa. Local host. Where is our PHP my admin Sterling and users? That's right. Okay, so this table is called users. And let's go back to our new underscore dot new underscore fact dot PHP page. Insert into users. And let's username. And it was uh, what hashed underscore password underscore password and let's values um, the variables that we have been using user name separated by a comma and make sure you have your <clears throat> single quotations outside your variables that we're searching in because these are strings they're not integers um, hashed underscore password and I'll just go ahead drop that down I am missing double quotations. Nope, just one of them. As well as a semicolon to close out that. Okay. So for the last bit of our form processing on this page, we need to go ahead and create our results. Equals MySQL query. Business as usual. It would be um, our query comma connection it was connection right not connect yeah, I think so so if result is true then message will have set to equal the string of the user or faculty member was successfully created everyone's happy else message again you can write whatever you want the user could not be created the user was not updated then user was not the user could not be created and I'll close that out and we'll go ahead and spit back the MySQL error let us know what happened so we could spec we could get to the bottom of our error so it's easy to debug there were count errors and let's continue concatenating the rest of our string errors in the form or login whatever you prefer now let me look at my opening and closing tags we have the correct amount of cur opening curly braces and closing curly braces so our query is in our new underscore fact.php file 
And in the next video, I'm going to talk about uh, the difference between our variable right here of password and our variable right here, hashed underscore password. Because again, down here, we've got our password. And I believe we used it again right here inside our form that we created. All right, guys, so good luck with this. Hopefully your new underscore fact dot PHP page looks just like this. So from errors or from our um, our query down to our closing tag, not that far. Just like that. All right, guys, good luck with this. See you in the next video.